Hi, Alma. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. To start, uh, when you're studying something in, you know, it's the 1960s, so already that has the kind of lens you have to look through. How did it, as a director, kind of help you in working with the story, knowing the setting, and creating those sets and making everything all come together in the final product? Yeah, you know, I had a very good uh, fortune of having incredible collaborators on this show, um, especially, I would say, in costume design and production design. Obviously, the cinematography of the show, the lenses we picked. Um, so every detail and every aspect uh, was meant to bring to life something that is textured and felt authentic. And we kind of, I wanted to make sure that we're not falling into the traps of kind of redigesting images that were already interpretations of other people of a period they didn't live in because I think a lot of times it's really easy to get references from films that were already made or you know fashion magazines and instead of it because of maybe my documentary background we kind of chose to really research and find both known and unknown street photographers um, either uh, black photographers, women photographers, people that weren't necessarily centered in the past when it comes to their point of view and how they saw the city, and then get inspired by what they saw, you know, and, and show this show through recreations and um, of, of those photog photographs. Um, so I think what you see and I think what I'm hearing people are responding to and the level of authenticity and kind of the mood of it comes from those photographers. Yeah, and when you're also playing with genre in the same kind of world, so it's not only a 1960 his, a historical piece, but you're also playing with different genres, is, is it a challenge or is it more exciting to kind of dive I mean, into all the different It depends genres? on who you ask. I get so excited by it, right? <laughs> like I got, I really was from the get-go trying to make something that feels both very period correct or whatever the word is, but just inspired by the period, but also very contemporary at the same time, like that you could just feel like, oh, I could step into this and feel like a human being and, and feel like myself, and I can imagine myself in these situations. I'm not just looking at, a, at, a, at the past, you know? The past is now, because I do think the time is very much elliptical and an illusion in many ways, and we see how much we repeat ourselves, uh, both historically and personally in our own lives. So, yeah, just kind of capturing that feeling and blurring all these lines between history and time, but also the subconscious and the dream world and our memories and all of those things is something that I'm always excited about doing. Um, my friends and I just yell jupe whenever he's on screen, but you do get, you are working with no jupe again. Did you and talk to him it. today? Oh, I didn't get to. And I was like, I just yell jupe whenever he's on screen, but he's such a good actor. And it's so fun to get to see him when you get to work with him, not, you know, on multiple roles throughout your guys' collaboration with each other. How fun is it to kind of like, you know, approach something different with an actor that you have already kind of worked with in the past? You know, it's so incredible because um, my partner and me, Byron, who plays uh, Slappy Dark Johnson, we know Noah since Honey Boy because mm -hmm. Byron acted in Honey Boy um, as Lucas Hedge's roommate, and he's in this show too. So we've known him together um, since he was 12 years old and feel very parental <laughs> sometimes towards him, seeing him grow up, knowing his mother, and being like, it's a very family style kind of experience um, and you know just seeing him grow as an actor and also just mature as a man and having discussions with him about character hearing the thoughts he has his um, analysis of like the relationships of this character specifically Seth and his mother and understanding the insight that he has as a, as a young man of um, just the human nature, you know, is has been really so cool to watch, you know. It's like just like, um, yeah, I hope to, we always say, I, I just hope to like kind of age behind the camera uh, with him <laughs> in front of it over many years. Well, I, I cannot wait for more conversations. So thank you guys so much. You. For, thank you so much for talking with me today. Thank you. And I can't wait for everyone to get to see the show. Thank you so much. Have a great one.